hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you see me for the first time you're welcome my name is Ami I talk about relocation and studying abroad consider subscribing to my channel for more informative videos don't forget to give my video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend it to others share my videos with your friends and your loved ones and keep watching Hello guys, and welcome to Immigrate with Ami and today we are presenting you with an opportunity for training and development. The main theme of this opportunity is turn your imagination into innovation. So this particular organization or this particular institute will help you if you have imaginations, you have innovative ideas that you have been looking for an opportunity to develop as a young person then this could be the perfect opportunity for you to actualize that innovative dream of yours. It's a fully funded a program for training, for leadership capacity development, for networking, and for so many other opportunities, okay? And we'll be walking you through this particular webpage, with the program webpage, to find out the opportunities that are open and how you can apply for it. Meanwhile, this opportunity is open to citizens from all over the world. So they usually combine citizens from different parts of the world, from Africa, from Asia, from North America, South America, Europe, Australia, and so on, every year to actually take them through this very intensive leadership capacity development, okay? So let's move on to speak about this program. So we'll be talking about the Awaji Youth Federation that is being sponsored in Japan. What is the Awaji Youth Fellowship Program? What is the program all about? In the program overview here, you can see it's a nine-month fellowship and they offer it in the form of a live-in working program on Awaji Island in Japan. Okay, so you're gonna be living in a particular facility and for a period of nine months, you will go through this intensive fellowship program, okay? Now, it provides selected fellows with the opportunity to challenge themselves and hone their individual skills in a multicultural environment that reflect both the needs of the Japanese workplace and the opportunities that come with a flexibly structured and stimulating learning by doing structure, basically, they want to help you to develop yourself and they want to help you to turn those ideas, those imagination into an action. Okay? All right. So what is the, the themes and the structure of this particular Awaji Youth Federation Fellowship? So they have different thematic areas where they are going to be developing each of the fellowship members. Okay? And these are number one, leadership and project management. So innovation and entrepreneurship and then PR and, and marketing, okay? So they are going to be developing the fellowship members in these three key areas. So you can choose like an, a focus area and then develop yourself in that particular area, okay? Now, they have three main components in the fellowship plan. The first one is uh, self-development and mentoring so they will give you opportunity for self-development and you will have people you know who are professionals who are renowned worldwide to provide mentorship for you the next uh, the next uh, component of the program is project ideation and project work so they will help you to expand your idea into a project so they will help you to bring up your abstract ideas into a project plan which can now be implemented and then delivered successfully. And the third one is event creation, okay? And you can find out more opportunity because we'll be dropping the link in the video description, okay? So they also do like special lectures where they invite, uh, you know, renowned speakers and, you know, entrepreneurs, business owners, scientists, and all of that to deliver lectures. You also have the opportunity to complete a lot of uh, projects okay and then they have a mentorship program so each fellow will be assigned a dedicated mentor from the ayf secretariat staff okay who themselves are also alumni of this particular program so they've gone through the program and they can actually mentor you towards a successful experience in more details 
what are the qualifications that are required so who are the people that are qualified for this ayf fellowship program number one you must be between 24 years and 30 years so it doesn't mean that if you're outside this bracket they will not uh, consider you but they prefer people who are within this age bracket of 24 years and 30 years uh, secondly you must have graduated either with a bachelor's degree or a master's degree so bachelor's degree holders are welcome master's degree holders are also welcome okay also you must have english ability so you must have english ability of you know around this particular grade t o e i c 800 okay or it's equivalent for people who are non native speakers of english okay so if you are a native speakers of english you come from a country where english is the official language you do not need to provide uh, any test or any uh, proof of english language ability okay also additionally if you have a japanese language skill then it is it will also give you competitive edge okay it's not a requirement but if you have at least basic japanese language skill that could be a boost to your profile okay also you must be committed to solving society's problem and contributing to a project so you must have ideas that can help to solve current problems that many societies are facing okay you must display core values of hard work discipline and care for others as you know japan is a very traditional uh, country and they have some core values or ethics that they actually they esteem highly part of them are hard work discipline and care for others you must show flexibility perseverance and resilience and you must have the ability and drive to translate ideas into concrete action so it's not enough for you to have innovative ideas you must also have that ability to bring those innovative ideas into concrete action okay all right also if you have membership or if you have a track record of activity in the ayf global community then uh, that is also uh, preferable okay so these are the qualifications or the requirement for you to apply for this fellowship okay now what are the conditions okay so the ayf fellowship has been designed so that fellowship so that fellows will be able to enhance their skill and ability without being burdened financially while in Japan, okay? So as an Awaji Youth Federation Fellow, you will be fully employed by the personal group incorporated and enjoy the following benefit and condition. While fees and government taxes are processed by personal, applicants who are successfully selected need to fund their own travel costs to and from Japan. So. Of course, they are not going to be providing you a refund, your travel cost, but they actually have a very juicy offer. So what are the salary and benefits? So for undergoing this traineeship and this fellowship program, you are going to be receiving a monthly salary of 197,000 Japanese yen. Okay, so you can convert that to your local currency to find out how much that is, but it's actually a lot of money. Also, they are going to, of course, they will deduct the government taxes, the pension and insurance from what you earn monthly. Okay, and then if you want to, at the same time, undergo classes to enhance your Japanese language proficiency, they can also, you know, you can also use part of what you earn to fund that. So you can see the fellowship activities. So five days a week you are going to be you know undergoing the working and the le and the learning and then you have two weekend days to yourself right and then once you have completed six months of the program you would have 10 days of paid leave okay so it means that you will have 10 days of vacation which is like two weeks where you can actually rest or undergo some vacation activities travel around and stuff like that. japan is a very beautiful country by the way for the accommodation uh, you will have access to an in individual room okay which is either you know in the japanese style or the western style and then the the amount you are paying for the room will be inclusive of uh, utility costs such as electricity and wi-fi okay finally what is the application timeline at the moment the application is open for the 2023 year okay and you can join the ayf global to get more information about how you're going to apply but just to give you an understanding the application opened since march 29 okay which is like um, 20 days ago and it's going to be open 
till May 31st. So you have the opportunity to apply till May 21st, okay? And then the interviews to assess your application will be between June and July. And then between July and August, if you have been selected for the program, then you can go through the necessary procedures for immigration and your employment. So guys, this is a wonderful opportunity. It's the Awaji Youth Federation Fellowship Program. You're going to be meeting with youths from all over the world. You're going to broaden your experience. They will help you to develop your ideas into, you know, practical, innovative steps, okay, which can be implemented to solve so many problems. And I encourage you guys to actually take advantage of this opportunity. As you know, we're always providing you with this kind of information and uh, we believe it will be a very good step in the right direction. So guys, thank you so much for watching. It's always a pleasure speaking with you. Make sure you click on the like button. If you have not subscribed, please do subscribe. You can do that right now. And we look forward to actually receiving your good news. Speak with you soon, guys. Have a lovely day.